this is exactly what you come to Nationals for, right? Double game point, the top two seeds of the pool, an exciting game, exciting second half. A big game for the whole complexity of the whole tournament right now, about to come down to this one final point. Absolutely. Losing this game puts you in a tougher place, having to play into, play into quarters. You know, you see Santa Barbara hoping to take this one seed in the pool and have a little bit more rest. Both of these teams are actually playing for the hope to not play as much. We see another stacked line out here for Ohio State. As you would expect in double game point. See Cole Vincenzo, Jazerski, Zhang, Lou, Sieber, Fleming, and Barrett out there. That's their universe line. Cole Vincenzo and Fleming in particular playing excellently downfield for Ohio State, consistently being some of the cutters who can get open in these long points and still grind through cuts with the same speed that they do from point one. So here comes the pull. Ohio State will have a short field to work with. Stacy Liu picking up and immediately dropping the centering pass is Funing Zhang. UCSB with a chance to break for the win here. No mark on the thrower. It is almost tragic that the sound of the hard cap horn occurred right at the moment she was trying to catch that disc. Winslow making the catch as UCSB approaching this break to win. Julia Kwasnick with the disc. So you're looking for that hammer space to Childress. And Jazirski gets the point block, but it's saved by Audrey Brown. What an incredible layout catch by Brown. UCSB just a few yards out of the score now. But it looks like players are discussing whether Brown caught that cleanly or not. Let's take another look. Excellent hand there on the disc. Looks like it will stay with Brown. Unfortunately, it was hard to tell by that replay whether Brown caught it or not. But on first glance, it looked like she did. Brown known for making plays like that. Oh, and that pass hits Weaver in the chest, and she just doinks it. Ohio State survives for now. Zhang to pick up after the turnover. And there, nearly another reset turnover, but Fleming there to save the day. And a big layout block from Kwasnick. Looks like Jazerski going to call foul on that play. Incredible play from Kwasnick. A little physicality there. You know, it's tough to say if when it's not 12-12, do you make that call? Can you afford not to make that call when it's 12-12? <laughs> See this again? Yeah, I heard that. Okay. 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 I just want to on body contact if there was nothing. We were able to hear a little bit from the observers, but not the whole conversation there, unfortunately. Sorry. <laughs> Come to us for a ruling. Yeah. Okay. Observer ruling wasn't off. Okay. So nobody move yet. Nobody move yet. And so it is ruled a foul. Ohio State keeps the disc. Kwasnick with a big play, but too much contact. Sieber elevating to save that one. Ohio State trying to march it down the field to hold on for this win, survive the upset. We have another stoppage. I'm going to call downfield. Looks like it may have been a pick call, continuing to stop the momentum of this Ohio State offense as they march up the field. Sieber will keep the disc. Gotta love Childress's flat mark here, giving giving Sieber very few upfield options, forcing her to reset this disc. Instead, she will go with an OI. Looking for a big forehand to Barrett, but it's too far. Ohio State finally able to flip the field, though, at least. Yeah, you can't hate that field position. If you're gonna try to push UCSB and force them into mistakes, better to do it down there at that end zone. It'll be Kwasnick trotting back to pick up. It's UCSB with a full field to go, looking for the break to win this game. Marked by Sadie Jazerski. Backhand up the win. A great catch by Caitlin Weaver. And she is going to go for the big hand, forehand, looking for Childress. Caught up in the wind a little bit, and Sieber there to make the play defensively. 
back and forth go the turnovers on this final point of the game. Zhang looking for Jizerski. Great catch under pressure. Throw behind her. Contact late since Jizerski to the ground. Tough stumble there. She makes the grab nearly behind her. Falls with Kwasnick behind her here. We'll see this again. Everyone is set, so when you guys are ready, you can check the disc in. And Jizerski seems to be okay, and what a catch from Jizerski. Even more impressive upon the replay. And now she's looking deep for Sieber, and that is a perfect throw from wow. Sadie Jizerski. We have a call back at the throw. Fever thinks they've won the game. If the person to check is too far away, you can yeah. check, you can ground check it, but it has to be well, an I agreement. I come closer because I thought I was just giving her space because she just like gotten sick. So you weren't set is what you're no. saying. Okay, so the disc is coming back. I thought you were set, sorry. No, that's fine. Right. 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 I think we were right, like around here. And you hear from Jizerski and Kwasnick there. Kwasnick saying, I was not set, was not ready for you to make that throw. So the perfect throw from Jizerski to Sieber comes back off the board. Ohio State will have to do it again if they're going to win this game. Jizerski looking again, trying to find reset. Not many options for her. Oh, oh big contact. collision. Yeah, big contact in the throw. That was a different defender, not her mark. That was Michaela Leslie coming across and colliding with Jizerski, preventing the throw from getting off. Well, this is this point. It's had some excitement already. We haven't even seen the game-winning goal yet. Absolutely. There have been more calls than in most of the games so far. Maybe tired legs creating more picks, but also I think a little bit grittier of defense. That feeling of everything's on the line. You've got to make that play, and sometimes that play is going to involve a little bit more contact than it did in point two or point three. Disc back in play, Jizerski. Big Benny forehand looking for Sieber. Sieber had to attack that one under pressure from Childress. And as a result, it flies over her head. UCSB takes back over. See the throw to Kwasnick underneath. And this throw elevating a little bit. Swatted and finally falling to the ground. A couple of opportunities for the catch there, but it's another turnover. Jazirski going to the end zone right away. But the two closest players were both burning skirts. We are shooting and shooting and shooting the final moments of this game. And it feels like the fate of this point in this game is going to be decided by an incredible play from one of the receivers on either team rather than any return to fundamentals here late in this pool play game. That one, not sure if it was blocked by Sieber or just unable to be caught by Childress. The disc is on the ground, but so is Childress. Looks like we might have a foul call. Take another look. Sieber, I think, did get a hand on it. It'll be on one here. You're very welcome. Defense will check it in when defense is ready. Does anyone need to reset? And it is judged to be a foul on Sieber. Childress with the disc. Still a long way to go for UCSB. Kwasnick with the disc now. Looking deep, looking dangerous. But Jazerski with the defense on the mark. Not sure if she got a hand on that one, but the disc is again turned over by Julia Kwasnick. It looked like Jazerski was returning the favor there to Kwasnick. Barrett just outside the end zone now. The little flip to Sadie Jazerski. What a layout grab by Jazerski. Not sure what the stoppage is, but Jazerski with an incredible catch to save possession. The ability to make a play like that in that tight of a space. Jazerski on the goal line here. Just outside the end zone, our fever. And that is rejected on the goal line. Caitlin Weaver says no this time. 
UCSB, incredible person defense, showing again and again they're able to make these plays when it counts. They're not giving up this game. And an easy interception for Jazerski. The throw from Brown not there, looking for Kwasnick. But Brown gets the block right back. Jazerski calling foul on the throw, though. This is the most chaotic final point of a game I think I've ever seen, Katie. This is chaos is raining on the field. <laughs> Players are tired and yet still making incredible plays. No one is resting on their heels in this game. As they try to finish this point out. Another call here, potentially that that disc was down. Leaves Childress emphatically saying that that was, that was turfed. And it was Zhang on the effort to make the grab for Ohio State. We'll take another look. And upon that replay, I have to say it looks pretty clearly up. We've got a nice angle on it. So disc temporarily back in play and then immediately stopping in as Sieber is knocked to the ground. This is what Nationals is all about, folks. <laughs> you you don't get discussion. <laughs> you don't get this pressure, these moments from the regular season. You just don't. Both teams desperately wanting this win. Jang with possession here in the red zone. Jang Zang. likes Zierski, another New Jersey product. She hits Zierski on that under. Down the line to the end zone. It looks to be caught, and it is. Ohio State holds on. They survive the upset bid from UCSB, surviving a marathon universe point. Feels a little anticlimactic there, but that point had just about everything. Seeing this again, Jazirski looking for that low pass. Incredible pass there to Fleming, who makes that rolling grab for the win. That is a long double game point. And Ohio State plays their second tough pool play game there. Incredible end to that game. Incredible game from beginning to end. We've got more action coming up in just a few minutes. So we've got to get out of here. For Katie Reynolds, I'm Daniel Prentice. Thanks for tuning in.